This is a tutorial for how to create a safe assignment. I'm also going to tell you how to read a safe assignment report and how to download papers from SafeAssign. The first thing you need to do is log on to Blackboard. And then you want to click on the class you want to create a safe assignment in. The next step is to decide where to place a safe assignment in the class. I have an assignment tab where I put directions for all major assignments, so I'll put mine there. Here you'll actually already see a safe assignment created for paper number one. This is a live class and they're currently working on this paper. So this is what students will see when they want to upload a safe assignment for this paper. But if you want to create a new one, you need to go up to create assessment, scroll down to safe assignment. You'll be directed to a page where you can list the title, assign points, write directions. You can also choose a time and day students can see the safe assignment. Note that a safe assignment will automatically be entered in your Blackboard gradebook. Therefore, if you use the gradebook and have already set up the course, you may have a duplicate for this paper. You will need to delete the non-safe assignment listing. Let's make one for paper two. I'm going to make it out of 100 points. I am going to make the assessment available currently, although I could change the dates of when it's displayed. Now all you have to do is click Submit. It will take you back to the assignment page and you can see now that paper number two has been created. In the Grade Center you will then see that paper number two has been added. Students can upload their papers when they click on View Complete under paper number two or paper number one. They must save their papers as .doc, .docx, .rtf, but they can also cut and paste it into the box. Now I'm going to show you how to check a safe assignment report. Here you go over to Course Tools. In pulling down this box, you'll see Safe Assigned listed. Here you have two options. One, you can actually see safe assignments where students have uploaded their papers. But if for some reason you want to directly submit a paper yourself, you can do that under this page. But let's look and see what we've got here. So here I can see the two papers are listed. I have one of the safe assignments somebody submitted under paper number one. So we're going to click on View Submissions. This will take you to a class roster of everybody who's currently enrolled into your Blackboard class. Here you will see the student ID, student name, we also have a text version of the paper, which is with no report. Here's also a button where you can download this specific paper. I'm going to talk about downloading papers in just a moment. This is the report. It says 30% of the paper is matching sources that were found outside of this. If I want to find out specifics about the report, I'll click on Safe Assigned Report. This will take you to a page where you'll see the sources listed where they found the same information. And then when you scroll down, you'll see the specifics highlighted in blue, which has been found in another area. So for instance, if I click on this, it will tell me here's the uploaded manuscript and here is the internet source that it came from and then where it was actually online. Be careful though, because the percentages may represent common phrases that could be picked up and used over and over again. So for instance, this one, which is make sure you're sa you save your, this file somewhere you can find it again, is a very common phrase. And even though 80% of it matches in answers.yahoo.com, I would not consider this plagiarized in any way. So let's talk about how to download the submissions. As I've said, you can do individual assignments. But if you have an entire class or multiple classes worth in a Blackboard account, you can do this handy download all submissions. If you click on this, you pop up this box that will save file as a WinZip. Say I want to, so it'll zip all the documents into one large file. This is going to be very useful for assessment purposes, where you can simply forward the zip file to the person who's requested these assignments for assessment of curriculum or courses or assignments. When I click OK, it will direct me to a place that I want can save it. So make sure you save it in a place that you can find it again. And the zip file can simply be attached to an email and sent to whomever has requested these papers from you. Okay, this concludes how to create a safe assignment, 
how to check a safe assignment report and how to download papers. If you have any questions, there is a PDF file that is next to this tutorial that goes over the same information. Thank you.